big pill. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. You're supposed to do my backup music. And if you're full of heartache and your bank account is blue, you will see the biggest gift will be for me. <laughs> it's the silence behind the snaps. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Player One on the Sweet Talkers Network, and I am Kyron Turner, and we are back at you with a long-awaited review of Demon Souls. Now, before we get started, I just want you to like, subscribe, and what's the last one, girl? I forgot. Um, ring the bell. The bell, don't ring it. You, you you just gotta click it. Click the bell. That way you know when my videos come out. Fuck the other videos. Just just mine. Do not on this channel. The other, everybody else's videos. Just like mine. That's all you gotta do. Anyway, guys, um what? Not your not on our channel. Everybody else's videos. Today we are looking at a game that came out in 2020. Um, it's been a while. I uh, also got a PS5 late, so I'm just now getting around to beating this game. Demon Souls on the PS5. This is one of the hardest series, the Souls series, that has ever been made in RPGs, period. And I want to see, did it live up to the hype? It is a remake from the 2009 classic. And anytime they do something like this, they've got a few out now, it seems to be the trend. We definitely want to see if it lived up to the hype. And should you go out and buy it, we're going to just look to see if this is one of those games um, that released when the PS5 came out that you should pick up. The story around Demon Souls picks up where humankind suffers a slow and steady extinction as the Deep Fog, uh, which is essentially the villain of what is creating this world and the demons that are popping up. But as the deep fog engulfs Boletaria, cutting it off from the outside world, a king's lust for power sends a land into chaos, causing soul-devouring demons to engulf the world. Now you and your created character must wander through five regions of Boletaria to kill the demons found there and gather enough power to kill this mad king whose name is Alant or Alant or whatever the hell he is and banish this deep fog that is creating these demons from the kingdom. The story in general is pretty straightforward. You drop off and you are this adventurer who wanders into the deep fog that has created this whole world full of demons that has kind of driven the, mat, the, the king crazy. And you're there to banish the king. You're there to stop the king because he started this off of this like crazy power trip hungry thing. Um, and so that is your goal. Along the way, and, and not to give any spoilers, but along the way you find out a lot of other stuff and you find out what's really going on. Um, but that's, of course, if you have the patience to get past the damn game. Um, this is the first, I've played all of the Dark Souls games. This is the first Souls game I have ever beaten. It's addicting. The story, it makes you want to dig for it. This isn't just some random action RPG that you're playing, but it makes you want to find the story. It's not going to spoon feed it to you all the way, but it makes you want to find it, which is why I love the, the Soul series and games like this, because they, they kind of hark back to the time of like the original Zelda, where they dropped you off and didn't tell you a goddamn thing. You just had to figure it out. That's the type of gaming I love, and it does a great job at that. Guys, next up, we have the world that surrounds Demon Souls, which is going to be, of course, Boletaria. That's how they say it if you've played the game. Now, it is broken up into five regions. The world of Boletaria centers around the Nexus. 
Now this is a sort of home base where you talk to different NPCs, you can level up, you can buy certain items, you can find out different story points, um, anything involved with your character. This is also just a place where you can breathe because you're not suffering from the brutal game that this damn thing is. Now from the Nexus, you can navigate to any of these five worlds. Now and slowly within these worlds, and believe me, it's going to be slow as hell. You can chip through the story and uncover the secrets that this game has to hide because it does have secrets. Now, the world is so interesting and the game is so hard that when I beat it, and again, this is the first Souls game I have ever beat. Guys, I have bought all three. I have spent 60 damn dollars on all three games and haven't beat any of them. I beat it. But only when I got the trophy, because I, I don't know if you've noticed, but a little Easter egg, maybe not, this is, everybody probably knows this, you can see the percentage of the people who have gotten the trophy. So the percentage of the people who have beaten the game was only about 14%. This game's about since 2020. So yes, this game is hard and the world is interesting and it's built deep within lo with lore and, and stuff for you to find. It is a great replayable game because you don't get everything the first playthrough you have to look and search for things um, and we'll get a little bit into more into that as to why later for a dork like me dragon swords shields armor like fuck, it's so good so next we're gonna move on to the gameplay the thing that carries a game now an action RPG this game is through and through Demon Souls is focused around making little to no, to no mistakes and really quick thinking, guys. Now, trust me, if you don't plan before every new damn area you enter, you will die. Now, speaking of, this game was actually intentionally designed to kill you, as in the creators made the game hard as shit to kill you. So hard, in fact, that when it did come out in 19... Why do I want to keep putting this game in the 90s? When it did come out in 2009, they actually did not release it in the Japan, the Japanese market because they didn't think that it was going to take. It actually really took with American gamers. Um, but whether things like, and the reason why, because things like whether you're forgetting you've been infected with poison or that magic spell took too long to cast or you were trying to heal and in between that you got killed you will die more than you fucking blink in a day while playing this game now this game was released to mixed reactions among some because like I said they cited that it was too challenging now one of those reasons why it is a very challenging game is this thing called world tendencies and this is something that when you die the amount of times you die affects how hard the game is just just kind of a, a brief kind of thing about that when you are out of soul form so when you are full body form if you die in a world it lowers the world tendency and it lowers it it's a white kind of black you know gray blackish and then it goes to full black when it gets to full black the enemies hit harder they take longer to hit there are new enemies there harder enemies so you want to watch when you go in and out of soul form this game is challenging the gameplay is a little basic because it focuses more on skill rather than a bunch of flashy on-screen camera graphic stuff um, but I appreciate it excellent gameplay this is something that uh, Blue Point Games did extremely well. All right, so lastly, because this game is so filled with weird, creepy, interesting people and NPCs, we're going to talk about the characters that fill this weird ass world. Now, the people that inhabit Boletaria can be an odd bunch to say the least. Always with just a little hint of crazy each time you interact with them. Umbasa. Umbasa. 
as my fellow blonde weird lady sitting by a bunch of candles would say to me every time I passed her. Now in True Souls fashion, certain characters that you run into throughout one of those five worlds that we talked about can be befriended and after that they'll, they'll return back to the Nexus and help you by giving you access to certain spells or items or just by offering you certain story points that you may not have had. Or you can just kill them. Yes, this is a game where no NPC is safe. Accidentally attack a mage who sells you spells? Well, get ready to fight. Now, there are ways of recovering from such acts, but where's the fun in telling you? Each character has their own unique backgrounds, which slowly but surely reveal themselves as you play the game. One of the largest themes about Demon Souls is figuring it out for yourself. It doesn't hold your hand. It doesn't tell you about anything. It doesn't even give you hints half the time. The only hints you get are in the form of written messages in the Nexus at the front area down the stairs. It tells you certain clues and hints on how to play the game and what you need to do. Uh, but that's it. This is why I love this game. Did the original 2009 Demon Souls remade by Blue Point Games in 2020 live up to the hype? I absolutely think so. I very much think this is a first game buy when you get your new PS5. It is frustrating. It is tear jerking. You'll throw your controller. You'll make your boyfriend think you're crazy because you're ending your night with this bullshit. You choosing to be fucking pissed to end your night. But when you beat the damn game, because I did it and I fucking lost it. But when you beat it, it is the best feeling in the world. And it has a new game plus mode after you beat it where you can go back with everything that you have currently and replay the game. So you just go through whooping ass, saying fuck you to everybody uh, because, well, although I do not know if the difficulty goes up, it probably does. Um, you can find it on sale in, in Amazon, It's I think it's on sale at GameStop, I think you can get it for like 40 bucks now on the PSN store. Um, definitely grab it up guys, but Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, we're going to be reviewing a lot of other games, definitely tackling a lot of other RPGs. We got some Super Bowl stuff coming up. We got some hot wing shit coming up. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Definitely check out the Drag Race, our new show, Drag It with Makari, um, on uh, the Sweet Talkers. Thanks guys so much for watching Player One. Like, subscribe. Thank you so much for showing love. No. And I'll see you next time no. on the next Player One. No. No. Burr, burr, burr. What was the fuck I was talking about?